We are continuing selections from Lesson 6 of Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft by Raymond Buckland, beginning with the section called Imbolc. We're on page 101 of the 2016 edition of the book. Imbolc, Greater Sabbath. This is the Feast of Lights. It is another fire festival, so there is again a cauldron containing the makings of a fire standing in the north quarter. Beside it lies a besom, broomstick. This is the midpoint of the dark half of the year, the halfway point in the god's predominance. But although it is in that segment of the year's cycle, yet it is very much a festival of the goddess, particularly Brigid, Brigantia, Breed, and other variations. Beside the altar rests a crown of light, a circlet of candles. Footnote. Care must be taken with this. There is not only the danger of setting fire to the priestess's hair, but also burning her with hot wax. Miniature cake candles or cut-down tapers are best, with carefully designed cupped holders. Thirteen candles, the number of moons in the year, is the number to have. The altar cloth and candles should be brown. The erecting the temple is performed. This may be followed by full moon or new moon rite, if appropriate. Bell is rung three times by covener acting as summoner. Summoner. Haste, haste, no time to wait. We're off to the Sabbath, so don't be late. Priest or priestess. To the Sabbath. All. To, to the, the Sabbath. With priest and priestess leading, the coven moves deosil around the circle, walking or dancing. Circle as many times as you wish. Priest or priestess starts a hymn to the gods and all join in. Finally, all halt and stop singing. Covener. Now has our Lord reached the zenith of his journey. Second covener. Now does he turn to face the lady. Priest. Though apart, they are one. Priestess. They are both the shadow and the light. Then follows an enactment of a seasonal motif, e.g. the midpoint in the sun's winter journey, sweeping out the old and starting anew, the running of the priests of the Lupercalia at the ancient Roman festival, the preparation of seed grain for growing in the spring, the inviting of the goddess of fertility to enter into the house and lodge therein. Bell is rung seven times. Covener. Our Lord now has reached mid-journey. Ahead, he sees the light of Our Lady and the start of life anew after this period of rest. This was the first festival of the Celtic year. This is the time when spring lambs are born and ewes come into milk. Spring itself is scented in the distance and thoughts are on the goddess as much as on the god. Burn now the evergreens, the ivy, mistletoe, and holly, the rosemary and the bay. Clear out the old, that the new may enter in. Priest or Priestess Light to dark. All. Darkness, Darkness to, to light. light. Priest or Priestess Light to dark. All. Darkness, Darkness to, to light. light. Priest or Priestess Farewell, lady. Welcome, lord. All. Farewell, Farewell lord, and, and welcome, welcome, lady. Priest or Priestess. All hail. All. Farewell. Farewell. Priest or Priestess. Farewell. All. All, All hail. hail. Priest and Priestess lead coven in a dance about the circle. This may be followed or accompanied by a chant or song. Priestess stands before the altar with arms crossed on her breast. Priest kneels before her and kisses her feet. He then takes up the crown, stands, and places the crown on her head. He then dances deosil around the circle three times. As he passes the cauldron on the second circuit, a covener lights the kindling, candle, or whatever. As priest comes to the cauldron on his third circuit, he jumps over it. 
He then comes on around and stops before the priestess. With a taper from the altar candle, he lights the candles on the priestess's crown. Priestess opens her arms and stands with legs apart and arms raised high. Priest. All hail, Our Lady of Light. All. All All hail, hail, Our Lady Lady of Light. Light. Covenor. Welcome, thrice welcome, triple goddess of life. Covenor. Mother of the Sun, we welcome thee. Covenor. Goddess of fire, we invite thee in. Priest and priestess move around to the cauldron. Covenor hands besom to the priestess. She hands besom to the priest with a kiss. Priest goes deosil around the circle, sweeping out that which is no longer needed. When he returns to the north, he returns the besom to the priestess with a kiss. She then gives it to the first covenor with a kiss. Covenor sweeps around the circle. This is repeated with all covenors. When all have done, priest and priestess return to altar. Bell is rung three times. Then shall follow the ceremony of cakes and ale. After that, the clearing the temple is performed so that there is plenty of room for fun, games, and entertainment, which may still take place around the altar if desired. The evening concludes with a feast. Beltane, Greater Sabbat. The outer edge of the circle and the altar may be decorated with flowers. The altar cloth and candles should be dark green. A crown lies beside the altar. This may be a crown of flowers, or it may be a silver crown decorated with silver crescent moons or similar. In the north quarter stands a cauldron containing material for a fire, regular kindling or a candle or a sterno burner. In the east quarter is a maypole. The circle may be drawn extra large to accommodate it. The erecting the temple is performed. This may be followed by full moon or new moon rite if appropriate. The bell is rung three times by a covenor acting as summoner. Summoner. Haste, haste, no time to wait. We're off to the Sabbath, so don't be late. Priest or priestess, to the Sabbath. All. To To the the Sabbath. With priest and priestess leading, the coven move deosil around the circle, walking or dancing as each feels fit, with small drums or tambourines giving a beat. Circle as many times as you wish. Priest and priestess start singing a hymn to the gods and all join in. Eventually, all halt and singing ends. Priest. The Lord has reached the end of his journey. Priestess. The lady sets her foot upon the path. Then follows an enactment of a seasonal motif, e.g., triumphant return of the goddess from the world between lives, creativity or reproduction, start of one of the breeding seasons for animals, both wild and domestic, dancing about the maypole, driving of cattle between two fires to ensure a good milk yield. Bell is rung seven times. Covenor. The gates swing back and forth, and all may freely pass through. Our Lord has reached the ending of his journey to find the lady awaiting him with warmth and comfort. This is a time for joy and a time for sharing. The richness of the soil accepts the seed, and now is the time that seeds should be spilled. Togetherness brings joy, and abundance fills the earth. Let us celebrate the planting of abundance, the turning of the wheel, the season of the lady. Let us say farewell to the darkness and cry greetings to the light. Lord and lady become lady and lord as the wheel turns and we move ever on. Priest. The wheel turns. All. Without without ceasing. ceasing. Priestess. The wheel turns. All. And And turns turns again. again. Priest. Farewell to our Lord. All. Welcome Welcome to to the the Lady. lady. Priestess. God winter ends his reign. All. As As goddess goddess summer turns turns to face the light. light. 
priestess, hail and farewell. All, hail, hail and, and farewell. farewell. Priest and priestess lead coven in a dance about the circle leading to the maypole. Each of the coveners takes a ribbon and dances around the pole with it, intertwining one with another. This is continued till all ribbons are tied around the pole, symbolizing the union of male and female, the joining of all together. A suitable chant or song to sing while dancing is found in the Gardnerian book. It is Gerald Gardner's version of a Rudyard Kipling poem. Oh, do not tell the priests of our art, for they would call it sin, but we shall be in the woods all night, a conjuring summer in. And we bring you good news by word of mouth for women, cattle, and corn. Now is the sun come up from the south with oak and ash and thorn. Priest and priestess return to the altar. Priestess stands with head bowed and arms crossed on her breast. Priest takes up the crown and holds it over her head. Priest. Our Lord, with the lady at his side, has brought us through the darkness to the light. It was a long journey that was not easy. Yet did the gods show strength, and, through them, did we all grow and prosper. Now may they both continue. Now may the lady, with her lord at her side, move on down the path, spreading her light and driving out darkness. Priestess moves to stand with legs astride and arms up and outstretched. Priest lowers the crown onto her head. As he does so, the cauldron fire is lit by one of the coveners. Covener. Now is Our Lady among us. Speak, lady, for we are your children. Priestess lowers her arms and spreads them wide to her coveners. Priestess. I am she who turns the wheel, bringing new life into the world and beckoning those who pass along the ways. In the coolness of the breeze, you hear my sighs. My heart is in the rushing of the wind. When you thirst, let my tears fall upon you as gentle rain. When you tire, pause to rest upon the earth that is my breast. Warmth and comfort do I give thee, and ask for nothing in return, save that you love all things, even as yourself. Know that love is the spark of life. It is always there, always with you, if you but see it. Yet you need not seek afar, for love is the inner spark, the light that burns without flicker, the amber glow within. Love is the beginning and the end of all things, and I am love. Priest kisses priestess. One by one, coveners move around to kiss priestess and to lay their offerings on the altar. When all have returned to their places, priest and priestess join hands and lead them in a dance, as singles or couples, around the circle. As they come to the cauldron, they jump over it. After several times around, they halt. The bell is rung three times. Then shall follow the ceremony of cakes and ale. After that, the clearing the temple is performed so that there is plenty of room for fun, games, and entertainment, which may still take place around the altar if desired. The evening concludes with a feast. Lunasa, Greater Sabbath. Summer flowers are on the altar and around the circle. The altar cloth and candles should be yellow. The erecting the temple is performed. This may be followed by full moon or new moon rite if appropriate. The bell is rung three times by covener acting as summoner. Summoner. Haste, haste, no time to wait. We're off to the Sabbath, so don't be late. Priest or priestess, to the Sabbath. All, to, to the, the Sabbath. With priest and priestess leading, the coven move deosil around the circle, walking or dancing. Circle as many times as you wish. Priest or priestess starts a hymn to the gods and all join in. Finally, all halt and stop singing. Covener. The powers of life and death are held by the gods. Covener. 
Great is the power of the mighty ones. Covener. God is old, yet young. Covener. And the power is his. Then follows an enactment of a seasonal motif, e.g., death and rebirth of the god leading to a great harvest, thinning of plants toward a better harvest, strength and testing, killing of older god by younger god with funeral games to honor the dead one. Bell is rung seven times. Covener. In the midst of Our Lady's rule do we remember her brother, lover, husband. Great is his power through his union with the goddess. And through his death and rebirth as the younger son is the harvest assured and the power passed on to grow and spread wide to all he loves. Remember the Lord, yet in him ever see the lady. Praise the lady, and through her, the Lord. Priest. Blessed be the lady of the circle. All. And And blessed be be her Lord. Priestess. May the surplus be drawn from the land. All, that That the the body body may be filled with strength. Priest. Power to the Lord. All, and and power power to to the lady. lady. Priestess, let the old wane. All, that That the the young young may wax wax anew. Priest. Ever turns the wheel. All, ever ever onward. Priest and priestess lead the coven in a dance about the circle. This may be followed or accompanied by a song or chant. All except priest and one male covener sit. Priest then dances around deosil between the seated coveners and the line of the circle. Male covener dances around widershins between the coveners and the altar. In other words, one outside the ring going clockwise and one inside going counterclockwise. As they pass each other, they strike hands over the coveners' heads. Coveners may, if they wish, clap the beat for them to dance to, shouting, Lou, at the striking of hands. Listeners, Lou, spelled L-U-G-H, is an important god of Irish mythology. They circle and strike hands 12 times. At the 12th strike, the priest drops to the ground and Covener jumps over the seated ones to run once around the circle, Deosil now, along the priest's path. Returning to the priest, he helps him to his feet and they embrace. All cheer and come to their feet. Priest. Lady and Lord, we thank thee for all that has been raised from the soil. May it grow in strength from now till harvest. We thank thee for this promise of fruits to come. Let the power of our Lord be in each and every one of us at this time and throughout the year. All. So So mote mote it be. be. The bell is rung three times. Then shall follow the ceremony of cakes and ale. After that, the clearing of the temple is performed so that there is plenty of room for fun, games, and entertainment, which may still take place around the altar if desired. The evening concludes with a feast. That's the end of selections from Lesson 6 of Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft by Raymond Buckland. So at the end of each lesson of this book, there are several questions, and I haven't been reading them, but one of them stuck out to me this time. It was number two, make up, create, Write a hymn or song appropriate for a ritual or occasion of your choice. So I'd like to challenge you to give that a try. If you have the opportunity and inclination, go ahead and make up some sort of song or chant appropriate for a Sabbath or a full moon or a new moon. Right. If you do it, please send me a recording at phoenixthereader at gmail.com and I may share it on a future episode of the show. Next time on the Wiccan Read Along podcast, we will begin selections from Lesson 7, Meditation, Dreams, and the Minor Sabbaths.